Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for December the 27th of 2019, well, it is titled A Partial Solar Eclipse Sequence Reflected. So what do we see here? Well, this is a set of images taken during the eclipse that occurred just yesterday and that was visible over areas of Asia and Australia. Now, an eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the earth and the sun and blocks out some of the sun's light. They're relatively rare because the moon's orbit is tilted relative to the earth. So often the moon passes above or below the sun and not directly in front of it. But when everything is lined up perfectly, the moon will pass in front of the sun, blocking out some of its light. And here we see a partial eclipse, meaning that just a portion of the sun's light is blocked out, not all of the sun's light. In a total eclipse, the sun would be blocked out completely. And what actually occurred yesterday at the peak of the eclipse was an annular eclipse, which means that there was an annulus or ring of sunlight around the moon because the moon was a little bit too small in apparent size to completely block out the sun. Now, here you see a number of different images of the of the sun as it was uh, passing very close to the horizon. And you can see when it gets very close to the horizon, it turns a very deep red color. The sun is essentially a white color overall. That's how we define our white light. But when it passes through the atmosphere, the atmosphere is very good at scattering out the shorter wavelengths. So the blues get scattered out first, and then the greens, and then working down. And eventually, by the time you get something very close to the horizon, where it is looking through a lot of atmosphere, it looks very red in color. So if you watch a sunrise or a sunset, as the sun gets very, very close to the horizon, you will see it turn that very very deep red red and orange colors because those are the only wavelengths that make it through the atmosphere. The rest of it has been scattered around and then of course we see a lot of the blue light as scattered around for coming from our blue sky. Now this was the again an annular eclipse meaning that if you saw it at totality it would not have completely blocked out the sun. The moon would have appear, appeared a little bit too small and would have appeared in the central just in the center of the sun with a ring of sunlight around it. But here we get to see the partial eclipse and very nicely framed and reflected in above and below, so the images up in the sky, and then reflected off the lake below, so you get to see uh, the duplicate uh, of each image, giving a very nice uh, framing for the image for today, and leading up to the next eclipse, which will occur uh, about six months from now in June of 2020. Eclipses occur about six months apart, generally, because that is the timing to get everything lined up. Those are what we call the two nodes of the moon's orbit when it actually passes very close to the path of the sun on the sky and where the two have a chance to pass, uh, the moon has a chance to pass in front of the sun. So that was our picture of the day for December the 27th of 2019. It was titled, A Partial Solar Eclipse Sequence Reflected. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Triangle Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.